All right, so this bit of news came out a few days ago, but I wanted to cover it because I was one of the big channels here, the, the one of the most, like, you know, consistent channels when it comes to praising the greatness of X-Men 97. But we need to discuss what's been going on here with the, uh, the, the showrunner and everything that happened. So this situation is kind of getting dirty. So about a week or so ago, a week and a half ago, Bo DeMeo, who was the lead writer for season one of X-Men 97, and he worked on season two, he was on social media and he was discussing that Disney did not invite him to go to any events. And I think he was to a recent event. And I think he was saying this not just out of frustration, but also... Maybe he wanted it to go viral. Maybe he wanted Disney slash Marvel to see it. You know what I mean? And then Disney responds with this. This is from, uh, or it's from Discussing Film, but originally from the insnider.com. Uh, so Disney put this information out clearly, probably to combat what he said. So I'm going to read it and then give you my thoughts. It says, Bo DeMeo allegedly sent nude photos of himself in sexually suggestive hero poses to several young male staffers working on X-Men 97, saying they could be used as inspiration. He also allegedly groped an assistant multiple times and emotionally slash physically abusive to other staffers. So... First of all, it's very unfortunate that this happened, you know, and I don't say that as somebody who actually appreciated Bo DeMeo's work. That's only the, the nerd side of it, right? But the man, the person side of it, me, it's unfortunate that somebody working on X-Men had to deal with something like this happening, allegedly, allegedly. Now, if this is false information, if this is wrong, then there could be a lawsuit coming down Disney's way. However, nothing has been filed as of this video being made. Because there's probably truth to it. And, and this is why I think that. Because when this show was first airing, well, a little bit after, a buddy of mine was telling me about Bo DeMeo and kind of his reputation. This is a guy who's more locked into like movies and pop culture stuff and he said that the guy causes behind the scenes problems on other shows he worked on now uh of course i wasn't there he wasn't there that's all scuttlebutt it's almost like when jonathan majors was you know being called like a narcissist and a lot of people were coming down on him and, and stuff like that I wasn't there. It's just stuff that comes out. I feel like Disney would not have put this out and would not have put themselves in a situation to possibly be sued if there wasn't some truth to this. I, I don't I do not condone any kind of groping. I also don't condone unsolicited nude pictures. Um at the same time, from what I understand, Bo DeMeo had an OnlyFans. I think some people thought he got fired for that. I remember hearing that. That he had an OnlyFans where he was putting up pictures of himself, obviously naked. And allegedly, again, I didn't see this for myself. I don't really look up that kind of content. Allegedly, he was doing superhero poses on there. So, that just tells me that, that where there's smoke, there's fire here. It's unfortunate because the guy's a good writer, but there's no place in the workforce for anything like this. There just, there just isn't. There's not. And if he has a counter argument or evidence to the contrary, I haven't seen it yet, but... To me, this pretty much secures the fact that he's not coming back. He's not getting hired. The last thing that any company wants is somebody under their banner who 
is sexually inappropriate because that could lead to other lawsuits opening up and more scandals. And Disney is already under fire right now from that other scandal where that dude died at the Disney park. And they're saying that the terms of service stops him from suing or something. I didn't look into the story too deeply, but apparently it's like he has to go through arbitration, which a lot of companies like put that in their deals to kind of protect them. So like the guy, he passed away. I mean, his family, not him literally. So, and Disney, and I've talked about this, man. Disney is kind of a shady company. They really, really are. So, at, at, by no means am I saying they're the good guy here. It's just unfortunate that allegedly people who worked under Bo DeMeo, who worked on X-Men 97, had to deal with these unwanted advances. I wanted to cover it because, you know, it's... It's, I don't usually cover like this type of news, but I really liked X-Men 97, and I know that he was a big part of why the show was great, but I just can't condone this kind of behavior. It's just, it's wrong, and it's quite frankly disgusting. Again, allegedly, that's what the story is. We'll see if more comes out of it. What do you think? Let me know down below. We'll talk soon.